Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day because I just found what I think is my new favorite ESP32 board. For those of you who aren't familiar, an ESP32 is an Arduino type board, a little microcontroller that has a faster processor, more memory, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. And these things are fantastic. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with this, but this is not my favorite. This is my favorite. And this is the 16 ish dollars TTGO ESP32 VGA, which means it can hook a monitor up to it and not just a monitor, a keyboard and mouse. And not just a keyboard and mouse, an SD card, and not just an SD card, sound. This thing is awesome, and I've only been playing with it for a little bit, but I want to show you my new favorite feature. We are going to turn this thing into an emulated computer, and I'm sure I'm going to have a whole bunch of different projects for this thing, uh, but there are so many projects that there's no way I can cover them all in one video. So I just want you guys to know that this board exists, and we're going to do some cool emulation with it. So I've connected the VGA monitor, the sound, a mouse and keyboard, PS2 style, to this thing. I haven't bothered to put an SD card in there because I don't really need it for this project. I'm going to take my standard micro USB cable and plug it in, just kind of give you an idea of what's actually going to happen. Uh, so when I plug this thing in, I have it set to show the VIC-20, and as you can see, it boots pretty quickly into a basic um, VIC-20 emulator. And so we come down here and uh, we have access to both the keyboard and the mouse at this point. And uh, we have sort of a pre-curated list of games that are free on here. Uh, you can reboot the thing and you can uh, go in here to basic and you can you know, start typing in your basic. You can hit the F12 key to get back out and take into that menu. Uh, you can decide if you want your joystick to be the cursor or mouse. I found the cursor keys to be generally uh, easier to use. Now, one of the neat things about this thing is that it still has access to the internet. So you can actually connect this to your Wi-Fi and if there's other games you want to download, you can uh, put in the URL of the game and download it here. I'll give you a link to some games and stuff like that in the description. There's also this list button where you can download another sort of 70 or 71 games that he's chosen for this thing, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, so if we come up here to the uh, dot dot, we can actually browse the file system and go into that list of games that I've already downloaded and you can kind of get an idea uh, for what is in here. There's just a lot of stuff um, in here for the VIC-20. So I'm gonna go back up to the original set of games and we'll pick Frogger because I've hit that a couple times so I at least have an idea of what keys I need to use. So we're gonna boot into Frogger on the VIC-20 and we're gonna hit the menu key which is the one between the control and the windows key on the right side of the keyboard. And uh, you'll see we've got Frogger. And so we can just come across, oh man, that just popped out in time. Uh, so I'm going to jump across the log, jump across the log, ah, whoa, and let's see here, bam, okay, so I made it across. Now, it is a little bit more washed out on your screen than it is on mine, um, but overall, it's a very cool, authentic-looking VIC-20 experience as far as I remember back in the day. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to install this thing. This this entire library uh, made by Fabrizio uh, De Victoro. He made an amazing library with way more features than I can show off in this video, but I hope this got you a little excited about what you can do with this board. One of the coolest things is that using this board is just like using any other ESP32 board. So if you haven't done it, you'll need to install the ESP32 stuff in the Arduino IDE, but it comes up as an ESP dev module. You can see I'm here on COM43, and I'm gonna to go to manage libraries, and the magical one that we need to mess around with is called FabGL. And as you can see here, we have FabGL by Fabrizio Di Vittorio. Uh, I'm using version 1.0.5. If you don't have it, go ahead and install it. Now, the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the ESP32 dev module uh, selected so that you have uh, access to the library and you're going to go to examples and all the way down to the FabGL library and we're going to go to VGA. Now in here there's all kinds of stuff. There's stuff about the Altair 8800. I'm going to be doing that. There's some game stuff, some VGA stuff, some hardware testing and all that kind of stuff. The one that we're going to use for this project is the VIC-20. So we're going to click that and it's going to open up a new sketch. Now 
I highly recommend that you kind of scroll through the sketch and look at it because this one in particular tells you that this sketch requires you to go to tools, partition scheme, huge app. So you're going to come up here to tools and uh, partition scheme and make sure that it's set on huge app and it probably isn't by default. So you do that and you click upload and then you are actually good to go with what I showed you in the video. So I really can't say enough good things about this board. Uh, you know, if you're doing some other maker things, you may not like the small number of GPIO pins that are left over, but you know, you're using all those ports for very cool things, keyboard, mouse, SD card, VGA, all that kind of stuff. And the fact is you can get started with this board in just a couple of minutes. So um, this is just the beginning of what I plan on doing with this thing. In fact, I kind of want to have a fleet of these things. Uh, they are cheaper than a lot of regular Arduinos right now. So I highly suggest you snap one or five of them up. Uh, if you do use the link in the description, it really helps out the channel and uh, allows me to keep buying things like this for future videos. Uh, if you have any questions, ask below. I'm not an expert on this board yet, but I'd be happy to help you out where I can. So, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.